Room, yeah, there's so right? much room and space. <laughs> I'm with Kent Rominger. He's with ATK. He's also a, a shuttle pilot. He's also a, a, a F-14 pilot. How many uh, carrier landings? Uh, 685. Now, there's a guy that, that knows the danger zone right there. <laughs> We've got a great event with the Clark Planetarium going on and NASA and this beautiful uh, the replication of a rocket that's a new generation rocket this weekend, right? We do. So, Clark Planetarium now through the weekend, the space launch system, NASA's newest rocket, largest rocket in the world, most capable rocket in the world. The display for it travels around the nation. It's here in Utah. We're very lucky through the weekend. Not only is it here, we have an active NASA astronaut with it, Tony Antonelli, program manager for it, who's a Salt Lake native, is here with it. It's really exciting events. There's a, there's a program going on this evening at 7 o'clock. Tomorrow, uh, there's a ribbon cutting for a new exhibit that ATK, we've, we've revamped it to help uh, showcase the Space Launch System, uh, which All is... All of that at the Clark Planetarium. Uh, at the Clark Planetarium, yes. Okay, now, what would, uh, how would you get to Mars? What would this rocket do to get you to Mars? So, the, the bottom, getting to Mars is hard, and you have to plan ahead. And the, the bottom line is, we've got to go into deep space first, gain what we need to know. This rocket will take us into deep space. The first launch of this rocket with the crew, they'll go further away from the Earth than we've ever been. Uh, but the reality is, when you press on to Mars, when we put boot prints on Mars to get the, the habitat, the transfer vehicle, all the fuel, and the landers, it's going to take at least nine launches of this vehicle for, for one human trip to Mars. All right. Well, great. That's, uh, we'll talk more about this coming up on 2 News at 5, a great event this weekend. And if you want to have something to do because it's going to rain, this is a great place to go, the Clark Planetarium. Let's talk about the...